In this video, we're looking at Simple X Mobile on a OnePlus 6T. Like GNOME Mobile or Plasma Mobile, Simple X Mobile or SXMO is a mobile environment on post market OS. However, SXMO is a very simplistic approach that is different from anything I've ever seen on mobile. This is the main screen. If you don't know what to do with it, it appears to be not very functional. However, the uniqueness of SXMO is how it uses hardware buttons and maximizes the screen with gestures and a bunch of unique features. Pressing the power button will lock the device as you see located in the top right. This will make the device more or less unusable. Pressing it again while the screen is on unlocks the device. Three presses will load the terminal. The terminal is in a window and pressing the down volume button will toggle the on-screen keyboard. The up volume button will toggle the menu for whatever application you are in. You can also use the volume buttons to navigate the menus. Of course, touchscreen also works. Swiping up from the bottom edge will also reveal the keyboard. Here we're in the terminal and we can use it as such. Swiping down with two fingers will close the current window. Holding the volume button and pressing power three times exits the graphical interface to give you the terminal and pressing that combination again will bring you back to the graphical interface. So pressing the up volume button again you can get the system menu from the home screen. All of the edges also have touch functions with swipe. Swiping down from the top left also gives you the system menu. Swiping up from the bottom will give you the on-screen keyboard. Swiping across the top will allow you to adjust the brightness. Swiping along the left edge will adjust the volume. The right edge is used for the scroll bar when apps allow it. Swiping from the left corner will turn the screen off. Unlocking again, swiping up from the bottom right changes the orientation. Again, swiping from the bottom right of the oriented screen will flip it from landscape to portrait mode. By swiping from the right edge of the screen, it will change to a different desktop. The left edge does the same, swiping horizontally. You can see the numbers up in the left corner, which desktop you're on. Opening a terminal using the power hotkey also makes it a tiled window. So let's look at some features. One of the features of SXMO is it is fully scriptable. Here are some default scripts installed, but if you have the ability, you can create your own scripts as well.
Here this note script opens the VI editor by default. We can create a note and then save it. Much like you would on a regular GNU slash Linux system. Here's another script running that accesses YouTube and finds videos through terminal commands. There are some pre-installed apps, a special version of Firefox that works on this mobile device. So in Firefox, I'm going to be testing the Wi-Fi connection, which is already connected. Here I also want to test the audio. Right now it's not playing audio out of the speaker, but if I go to the system menu and then audio, I can select the correct audio device for the sound to come out and now sound is coming out of the main speaker. So as mentioned, I already added a Wi-Fi connection, which is connected here. And you would add it as you would any other Wi-Fi connection by selecting it from the list and entering the password. To get mobile data to work, you have to enter the APN settings manually as shown here. So here I'm entering the APN settings for my network. Once that's done, I can disable Wi-Fi and show that the 4G connection is indeed working. So to note, swiping down from the top left will give you the menu for the current app or window that you're in. So again, swiping down to the bottom with two fingers should close the app. You can also run any binaries that are on the system as you would from the terminal, but from this binary run command. Here I'm going to run the terminal app foot right there and it will open. The same should work for any other command that you're trying to do. So again from the terminal, if you want to install apps, 
Using Alpine Linux commands, you can install anything from the repositories. Any installed apps should show up in the Apps menu. However, not all apps will launch as expected since this is still in early development. Let's look at some basic call functions. Here I have in my contacts a number that I'm going to dial. And we see that calls can be made. However, no audio seems to be functioning when calls are placed. I did notice that sometimes when receiving calls, however, some audio will pass through depending on the device selected through the audio settings. But the microphone still did not work, so I was unable to make a successful call overall. Now let's look at the texting function. Sending texts requires you to write them in a text editor. So I have some previously sent text there. So here, if I hit reply, I can create the text message in this text file. Then once I save it and quit, I can send the text. I'll show you later in this video how you can send texts from your desktop computer via SXMO. Switching to a different desktop again, we can look at a few of the other features in the menu. There are menu controls, a few different configs. You can update the packages right from the menu. And I should also note that SXMO has a few hooks by default, but you can customize them to do certain actions when this happens. Now, as mentioned before, you can control SXMO from a desktop computer using SSH. So here we have to start the SSH server. And then by finding the correct IP address of the device, we can connect to it through SSH. So here I'm connecting to SXMO from my desktop. The default username is user and the default password is 147147 on pre-built images. Now I am logged into my mobile device through SXMO 
and I can do many things in including sending SMS. First, I'm going to create a text file containing the message I want to send. Then I send using this command, which adds the text file and then sending via the SXMO shell script. These scripts can be edited according to your needs, like the hooks. So as you can see, I've sent the message and it is received right here. So those are my first looks at SXMO. It's a wildly different approach to mobile, and it should be exciting for GNU slash Linux enthusiasts. I'm sure there's more to be discovered through SXMO, but check out the links in the comments linking to the documentation and original video demonstration, and let me know what you think. Does the X in SXMO truly mark the spot for you? Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.